Town and Frogs are going to lose it a little bit later on today when Ledley King, one of the soccer greats, is going to come down here and join us. Uh, he's in the country talking yes. about the ICC, which is happening in July in Melbourne. MCG is going to be going off. I see he's going to be here uh, promoting that. Well, you know, the Nun and Whiting under-12s have long been a feeder club for the Spurs, JT, so <laughs> a few of those kids will be uh, looking to be spotted. Yeah. Hello and welcome to Nana TV. My name is Emil Damien. We're here at Mahoney's Reserve and we've got um, some big names here today. Uh, we've got the Spanish giant uh, Jose and um, we're going to speak with Greg Magones, the technical director of the club, to give us an insight of what it feels like to have a, a coach and, and, and someone like his statue at our club. I think it's a magnificent uh, occasion for the, for the club in terms of the exposure this provides um, Nana Wadi. Uh, having Jose and Lindley here is absolute magnificent. They're legends of the game. And what a magnificent experience for the, our young kids at Nana Wadi to, uh, to meet these uh, legends of football. Yeah, so we had Ledley King out here and Jose, who's the uh, technical director at Atletico Madrid. And uh, the Sunrise was doing live crosses and the boys were out there in front of the cameras you know, doing their stuff kicking the ball around. Well, it's just great recognition for the club and what we're trying to achieve. Uh, yeah, they were sent down here by the FFV and we enjoyed hosting them. And uh, it's just a bit of validation for what we're trying to do and what we're trying to teach the kids, the club's principles and philosophies, yeah. I just wanted to ask you, uh, get you a bit of insight on what it takes at that level for a young, inspiring footballer to, to play at that level. Yeah, well, I think it takes a lot of, a lot of discipline, uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of practice. Yeah. You know, any young players that I have the opportunity to work with, I tell them to, to practice as much as possible, yeah. uh, to watch as much football as possible. You know, watching some of the best players in the world. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, you try to learn from them. You know, and then you take it outside and you try practicing these things, and that's the only way to improve. You know, the repetition. The more you do something, the, the easier it becomes. So you know, it's definitely great to start at a young age. Yeah. Keep practicing, you know, to when you get a bit older, these skills are already there for you. What do you look for in a player? Look at what they look for. Depende al modo de movilidad, el espacio, el 9 de referencia, el extremo. Depende, dice que nosotros un 9 lo catalogamos depende de los diferentes. Cada día de Andrés tiene unas cualidades diferentes. Sí, sí, para Andrés. Intentamos buscar cada jugador que tenga unas diferentes cualidades para mezclar entre los y que el entrenador tenga siempre diferentes alternativas. ¿Qué piensas que teniendo estos chicos aquí, hay una posibilidad de que algo que ha pasado hace un par de años con Jake Brimmer pueda salir de aquí de nuevo? ¿Qué es esto? Bueno, siempre hay esa posibilidad. But what this does is plant seeds in, in young kids' heads that there's professional players here and it provides some aspiration for those kids to, if they believe in their ability, to work hard and achieve the, their dreams. How does a young um, aspiring footballer that does try and do these things mm. get these opportunities? Because some people are fortunate than others. Yeah, you well, I, think, I think that you, you, know, you keep, keep trying. Okay. You, know, you keep uh, giving yourself an opportunity to, to be spotted. You know, we look at someone like this player for Leicester called Jamie Vardy, right. and he's, uh, you know, he's had an unbelievable season in the, in the Premier League, and he was a late starter. You know, he he, he come from the, the lower leagues, uh, so he's had to really work and work and work, and now he's playing in the Premiership. So, uh, you know, it shows that it's, it's never too late. You know, as long as you keep working hard yeah. and you keep playing, give yourself the opportunity. Someone someone might might spot you yeah. and give you that chance. I think it's uh, inspiration for the kids. I mean, two great players from uh, the past, the buzz in the air. Well, just buzzing all the time. It's, look, I, th I think there's a swarm of bees around here. It's just, that's much of a buzz here. It's fantastic. They love it. So um, it's just, like I said, it's just it's just a passion. I just I just feel passion in this club, and I love it. And uh, it's it's the people. Uh, it's the love of the club, the, the development of the club for the kids. Um, they're learning something fantastic. Um, with the next three, four years, I think they'll be absolutely fantastic kids um, with beautiful technical ability. Uh, I was really excited. I got up really early. I couldn't sleep. Um, I couldn't wait to go meet them. Well, on TV, we're doing some warm ups. Um, I got some signatures, shook their hand, took some photos. Um, I watched the juggling contest 
when ha Jose was in it. I just love seeing, I just love seeing the kids enjoy themselves. My my two boys and their teammates. It's just, uh, it's just, it's, it's like a blessing, you know. You turn up and everyone's having such a good time, and in a way, you think back to your own childhood, and uh, and, and and you and you remember now back when you were a kid. And for me, I just want them when they get older to think back and remember uh, the good times they had, uh, you know, playing football. You've been in Wadding today. Yeah. Uh, what you've seen today, what, what do you think of uh, the level here with the kids here today? Yeah, no, I'm very impressed, you know, uh, I know uh, how much, you know, Australians really enjoy their sport, uh, you know, and it's great setup here at Nada and, uh, you know, you can see how much the, the kids really enjoy playing football, Yes. Uh, so it's great, I'm looking forward to, to, to working with them. Okay, that's a wrap for today, thanks for coming on Nana TV. It was great to have Ledley from you know, Tottenham. We had uh, Jose from Atletico Madrid here at Um it, it was a fantastic day. You know, just a lot of insight, a lot of things to learn from these guys. And, and it was great to have him here at the club. Don't forget tomorrow we'll take on Box Hill United here at the club here. Um, you know, I'll probably learn a thing or two from Ledley. So hopefully I'll score some goals for you guys tomorrow. Thanks.